he, he didn't really like the pressure like that because he, he's a, he's got great boxing skills and he likes to keep in the outside and just shoot and then come out as much as he can. But when you really bring the fight to him, it becomes, you know, he becomes uncomfortable in there. Powercast Sports, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This content is presented by Arena Plus, Astigza Sports. Uh, so mm -hmm. now in a way it's kind of like the flag bearer for Asian boxing these days. Uh, mm -hmm. After Manny Pacquiao, uh, the number one Asian boxer and probably the number one boxer arguably on the pound per pound. Although, uh, of course, he's Asian. He has never had really that exposure in the U.S. Uh, you know, they're looking at Canelo still and uh, Crawford as the, the pound per pound. But for Asian boxer, it's Naoya Inoue. Is, is there anyone that can beat Naoya Inoue at 122 pounds? I would always go for my um, Filipino brothers. That's I. I just want someone to actually, you know, be him. One hundred and twenty-two. I'm not sure because um, what's Casimiro's weight? One hundred twenty-two. Okay. Well, I'm rooting for Casimiro because, albeit in his last performance, it looks like um, you know, the stamina wasn't there. I but I feel like if he fights Naoya Noe, he's gonna prepare like. You know, he's never been, he's going to be in the best shape of his life. And I feel like his power can, when he catches him, I feel like, you know, he can really put the lights out on Naoi. Because Naoi, even though like with Denaire, he's been tested, he hasn't really been tested with, uh, you know, a real prime fighter that's, you know, he's got a live fight in him, like a live dog. And I just, mm -hmm. I, I, I feel like Casemiro will be that guy. I feel like Casemiro yeah, it, will be the if Casimiro is well trained, uh, he certainly can, you know, have a chance against uh, uh, Naoya Inoue. Uh, but as of right now, I, I'm not sure if that fight is going to happen. But I, I would agree with you. I mean, Naoya Inoue actually needs someone that can hurt him mm. because he's been too comfortable with him being the offensive guy and not yeah. being hurt. So he needs a power puncher. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you can kind of see glimpses of it with um, the last fight with um, the Palace, right? So when you look at the, what is it, sixth round? when Round of the year, though, I think the the one the round of the year. Um, mm -hmm. He really, you know, put it on him. And that's when Naoya kind of got a little bit, you know, flustered. And he, mm -hmm. he didn't really like the pressure. Like that, because he, he's a, he's got great boxing skills and he likes to keep in the outside and just shoot and then come out as much as he can. But when you really bring the fight to him, it becomes you know he becomes uncomfortable in there. And yeah. I feel like, that, but, but, but no he, one has but, been able to do that because they're scared of the power punch. But exactly, but that's because most of them didn't really have the power like that. You know, most of them didn't have the yeah. power to protect themselves or to throw something back. But with if, if you throw something like that with Casemiro, best believe there's a bomb coming right back. And I feel like that's that's why I have my, you know, full faith in Casemiro 